Hey everyone. In this video, we'll have a walkthrough on how to create a stand-up board for posting daily updates on a Slack channel using Arcus Conductor. So this is a workflow which we'll be utilizing for this example. And here's an overview of a stand-up board. That is a workflow would be kicked off at a particular time. That is a stand-up time set up by your organization. And it can be achieved using the scheduler. And the workflow sends a personalized message to each team member to provide the update and the users will be prompted to provide the update when they open their Slack. And the workflow waits for all the updates to arrive and waits for a specific time, for example, maybe three hours. And then once all the updates are given, the timeout occurs and the updates would be posted to the shared team channel. So this is the overview of how the workflow works. And in this example, we have two users. So they are implemented using a fork join task and these forks run in parallel to complete the workflow. And for each individual, uh, we are adding the sub workflow, which is the individual updates workflow. And this is a workflow definition for the individual updates. So it begins with an HTTP task that sends a welcome message to the user asking for the daily updates which is followed by a do while task that captures a user input and the loop condition for the do while task is checked based on the webhook task. That is, uh, it will capture the incoming events from Slack. Then it is followed by a series of JSON JQ transform tasks of which the this task is used to aggregate updates from the user and the second task converts the updates into a CSV format and the third task appends a username with the updates and the final output is posted to the Slack channel using the HTTP task that is a post updates. So this is the basic uh, explanation of the workflow and now let's uh, see how you can achieve this using Orcus Conductor. So here we have mentioned that we'll be utilizing the wait for webhook task. So let's create the webhook. So let's provide a webhook name. Next you can choose the workflows. And you can choose the platform as Slack. So let's create the webhook. So a URL is generated which is unverified. Next, you need to create few secrets, which we'll be discussing while demonstrating the example and also a scheduler. That is, you can provide a cron expression so that it runs at the schedule time set by the organization and you can choose a workflow name, also the version so that the workflows run at regular cadence. So let's create the application first. For this, you need to navigate to this URL and then click create an app from scratch and let's provide a name. And let's use a test workspace. So the application is created. Now navigate to incoming webhooks and let's activate the incoming webhooks. And then navigate to event subscriptions and let's enable the events. And you need to provide the webhook URL here. So you can see that it is verified and when we check back here, it is also verified in conductor. So you need to add one event here that is. Okay, so the application is ready now. Now let's navigate to app home and under messages tab you need to enable this option allow users to send slash commands and messages from the messages tab otherwise the user won't be able to send anything to the board when requested and you need to also enable the permission that is the right permission for the chats so under board token scopes you can add okay so the permission is enabled and now let's install the application so navigate to settings, install app, install to workspace. You can choose a channel. So let's choose a DevRel standup channel. Okay, so if you check the channel, you can see that uh, an integration has been added to the channel. So uh, OAuth token is generated. So this you need to add as a secret in Orcus Conductor. So let's create a secret with the name Slack standup token and let's provide the value. So it's updated. 
and also you need to provide this as uh, as a secret that is so we have added the secrets so if we check the workflow definition you can see that in in the initial HTTP test where we send the request to the users. Uh, we are calling the standup token which we have added now and also while posting the request to the re uh, requested channel we are uh, calling the channel URL which we have added as a secrets right now. And also uh, one more update which you need to make is while adding the individual updates uh, that is uh, for this particular user you need to replace uh, the uh, input parameters for this task with your employees name and the user ID. So the user ID you can get from the Slack channel that is you can check their profile and click on this and copy member ID. So you need to replace the user ID with your employees detail so and then save the workflow definition okay. so it's updated now and also uh, you can set uh, the individual workflow to be timeout at uh, the required time that is if the employees are out of office you may uh, not receive an update from the user so that it can time out its specific like uh, one to two hours so in this example for demonstration purposes uh, I've set as 20 seconds so let's run the workflow now so you can see that it is waiting for the update and if you check you can see that the bot has requested for an update so let's provide some updates. So once you're done the up, uh, providing the update, click on done. And you can see that the update has been posted to the channel using uh, that is the bot has posted the update to the channel. So if we check the execution, you can see that it is completed and it's, it is waiting for the other user's update. So since we have set up the timeout as 20 seconds, uh, if the user hasn't provided the update within 20 seconds, uh, this would be completed. So you can see that the workflow has been completed. This is what we have implemented to get the updates of the individuals uh, within our case. So thank you.